what general advice would you have then to someone that's trying to get something published? Like what are the mistakes that you see first time people or outsiders make and you know, what what kind of help do you typically give to someone? I feel like the thing is that we our reward function is delayed, right? So we go into ML research liking it because we saw other people in research maybe like a few years before us and they gained you know, reward out of that. They published a paper and it was so recognized and they have such a fame and recognition and everything. So we want to do the same thing. But the difference is we live in a delayed timeline. So when we get into it, the scene already changed, but we don't know. So I basically, I really want to remind everyone that if you're getting into ML research now, publishing is very different than before. Before, if you have, you know, an accepted paper at, I don't know, iClear or NeurIPS or CPR, you are basically, you know, you're there. You can probably get a job that you would want, get a dream job, get a position of something, but not anymore. So now I think the next people will be looking at citations. Even if you get a, a load of paper published in peer review conferences, people will look at different metrics now because there are so many papers getting in and so many people having their papers getting in. So yeah, the basic uh, suggestion or like advice is that you should try to adjust your reward system to be different from what you came in the or, should you adjust it too i mean sense. You're, you're saying i mean it just seems like you should just make things even harder for yourself right like you can't just publish a paper and have to get citations is that is that a good summary yeah so no no that's why you should be looking at other things you know you should be really just looking at love of science i want to do this for the love of science i'm not trying to i do this piece of work not to well if it gets published that's like a confirmation that is a good science but the basic thing that's important is that it's a good piece of science. I think that's what I want to say. You can do a beautiful work, put it in an archive. Don't worry about whether it gets accepted or not, because there's so many noise in that whole thing, the same as neural network training. You know, There are so many statistics that the same paper with no change, just so many two, three conferences get rejected, rejected, accepted, because it's just random chance. You're Every time you're just drawing a lottery ticket of some sort. So don't care about that. Don't care about really the true accept, acceptance or not into a conference really care about the quality of the science you put out there. Because if it's on archive, you have your name on it, it's going to, you know, that, that means something. So like change your reward system to really care about the true quality of science and remind yourself that you're in here for the love of science, not for, of course, some people are in here for it too, so that it promises a better future and there's nothing wrong with that. But those will probably, you know, stray you a little bit away from the, you know, the path and maybe make you a little bit miserable. So then, what's the key uh, to doing are. good science as a, as an outsider? Like, how do you how do you do that? Yeah, that's that's actually the idea of running ML Collective. I feel like there's so many problems these days in the world that people don't believe in science, right? I'm not saying ML Collective is the way to change that, but I sometimes think if you can get everyone, not not even everyone, like the majority of Americans, to publish one paper in their life. Maybe they'll just believe in science more. Like once they go through that publication process, they see like, oh, for to say to say this, to put this statement out, I need to try everything around it, do ablation study, you know, compare with all the benchmarks. Huh. So so they will become more careful when they put statements out. I don't know. This is this is a weird argument I'm making, but I feel like if we, I can we can I can get more people to do science, not for life, just like publish one paper in their life. I think everyone's attitude towards science will be better. They will believe it more. We probably wouldn't have all those problems out there in America that people don't believe in science and other things. I don't know. That's my dream, of course. Thanks for watching this clip. You can see the full episode on our YouTube channel. And you can join our friendly Slack community with over 4,000 ML engineers to participate in paper reading groups, AMAs, and other fun events.